Welcome to Travels with Lobo, Mexico, 2024. In vlog number 19, I'll be exploring Oaxaca's Smoke Alley, or Paseo de Humo, and my favorite convenience store, Pitico. It's, uh, it's Sunday morning and uh, my second day in Oaxaca, beautiful Oaxaca. The Zocolo, the main square, is just down that way. My favorite store right there I uh, found was Petico. Petico. You can get a coffee there, a good coffee for $1.80 Canadian. That's pretty good as opposed to four fifty. dollars Later on in this vlog, I'll walk you through the convenience store as I get a coffee. The red spot in the middle indicates the Pitico that I'm talking about. As you can see, it's just down from the Zocolo, that's the green patch up above. And the Paseo de Humo, the smoke alley, is just below that. Now, on the street here, this wasn't here last night, but it's here now. Is Tipsy Trailer, I, I don't know what this is, just a bunch of real atmosphere, that's all it is. You gotta experience this. All these people eating, this is Sunday morning. All this stuff wasn't here last night that I could see. Maybe it was, but I didn't notice it. Lots to eat, a lot of the stuff you wouldn't want to eat, and I wouldn't want to eat. Guy's putting his hands all over that. Sausages. So the, the grilling in here is uh, filling the whole area with smoke. Wow. This is what people do on a Sunday. This is really neat. By the way, this is not recommended for vegetarians. Vegetarians would have very little to eat vegetarians would starve in this uh, in this alley here well that's not exactly true because after you've bought your meats you go sit down at a table and somebody else comes around with one of these menus which gives you an option to buy something else to eat with your meat and some of it is vegetarian some is sausage i had some radishes and some salad but, but for carnivores it's a delight. Look at this green stuff. Seems to be cactus, cactus roasting there. So to give you some reference, uh, a Canadian dollar is worth 13 pesos. So that first option of 150 is about 12 Canadian dollars. So it's not exactly cheap, but that's for the meat only. As you can see, the prices go up from there. The prices uh, seem to be pretty reasonable. So uh, once you're out of this atmospheric, meaning there's lots of atmosphere here, section, you're back into the normal Oaxaca Street, which is, Oaxaca is very, very nice. Very nice. Now, as promised, a walkthrough of a Patico store. Remember, a Patico is like a 7-Eleven or OXO. OXO is very common in other parts of Mexico, but not so much here. Patico, like I said, this is the first time I've seen this store. It's a, kind of an OXO, a 7-Eleven, uh, except this one seems to be well thought out. Lots of uh, space. 
with an assortment of products, booze. I don't know what this is. Cleaning products. Lots of uh, drinks. Now, they don't have the juice that I, that I like here. The juices here, by the way, are all marked with excess calories, those black labels, excess sugar. But there is one that, that has a big zero on it that doesn't have excess calories and excess sugar, but they don't have it. That's the one that I buy. So here's a store. Like I say, really nice for a convenience store. Nice selection of uh, fruits. And uh, cheeses and whatnot. Although there see very few cheeses in, in this country. Now I'm walking towards my favorite section. And that's right here, that's the coffee. So uh, I asked last night how much it cost. It was a dollar eighty. I find that really, really low in price. But we'll give that a, a test run. Right here. So grab a cup. Grab a cup and make your selection. Right there, espresso. I would want an americano. But uh, yeah, they do have they do have powder here. Carnation powder if you want to So I'll put that that in all right, so I'll turn it off But uh, this is where you get Coffee for a dollar eighty. I'll let you know if it's not a dollar eighty Indeed it was a dollar eighty Canadian and that's the cheapest cup of coffee. I found in Mexico If you go to a Starbucks you're liable to pay four dollars most restaurants three fifty uh, expect to pay three fifty to four dollars for a, for a coffee in Mexico, which is really really surprising, disappointing, but that's how it is. Thank you for viewing and sharing this uh, little bit of a glimpse into life in beautiful Oaxaca. I'll be back very soon with uh, with more on Oaxaca, and uh, later on in my series of vlogs. I'll be moving on to Guatemala.